one run on the board. And Panama's got it, but a few more strikeouts, Oral. Well, to this point, they have only had four strikeouts since they came to this Little League World Series, but Irving Duny Indunis, he's absolutely been on fire. Struck off the side last inning, 75 mile an hour fastball, equivalent of 98. You see those fours, but one four represents over the course of eight innings or two games, because those games were shortened because of the 10 run rule. And then tonight, in two innings, four also. So we've completed two innings of our six inning regulation game, and Panama's got the lead. And that fastball will catch the outside corner for a strike. Lee Wu started the game as the pitcher. And it was taken out after working just one inning. That one is going to bounce inside on him. We'll see whether or not these Chinese Taipei hitters can adjust to a pitcher who is so much faster, throws so much harder than they have seen. And that's a ground ball to short. Played perfectly. Gonzalez had moved over towards the hole. Adriana had uh, talked with this young pitcher we're watching, and uh, let's get a report on him, Adriana. Yeah, Gary, well, he's been doing very good. He told me before the game that he was very confident about his fastball. He told me also that Chinese Saipan has been great in this tournament with their bats, but he was very confident because he hasn't faced any, him yet. So he was, he was very confident and very happy to face Chinese Taipei. He's been doing so far, so good so far, because Chinese Taipei is scoreless at the moment. Back to you guys. Adriana, absolutely right. Uh, as he also feels his position right there. And Sang is retired, and there are two down here in the third inning. We've seen, uh, because of the changes in the pitch rule this year, we have seen variations of how clubs have dealt with it. And some teams have held back their best pitchers or used them infrequently or for only a few innings. And that kind of looks like what happened here. As they held their best pitcher back to the game that they felt was going to be the most difficult. The upset for Panama came against Canada when they lost 4-2. Tell you what, the uh, Chinese Taipei team and the Washington team have both used their pitchers very, for very few pitches. Chu Yi Hung is going to be on as Francisco Gonzalez's throw is wide. So with two away, there's the second base runner Chinese Taipei has had. They're playing over that hole, and they're playing correctly because of the velocity on the mound for Irving. It's hit right to him, just a little underneath the throw, dropped his elbow, the ball got away from him high and away. Just like if you were on the mound and dropped your elbow, the ball goes high and away. Same from shortstop. Only the third team error that has been committed by Panama. Now a runner on at first base. There are two down. Chen grounded out his first time up. First baseman will play in front of the runner at first. Well, they're playing for a possible bunt, even with two outs, because of the quality of the pitching on the mound. This Chinese Taipei lineup is circular. Everybody has had a hit. Everybody there it is. Down. Here's Garcia, and uh, not in time. A beautiful bunt, well played, but that's a base hit. The technique was absolutely amazing, because this ball is a high, 98 mile an hour equivalent fastball and it's up by his shoulders and he does a great job keeping the barrel of the bat up so he bunts this ball on the ground and doesn't pop it up look at him just flick that thing out there keeping his hands up positioned it very well and deadened it that ball is going to go to left field mendoza's not going to get it they're going to send the runner home and coming in to score he is hung ball will get away throw to third runners back on the bag an rbi single by long has tied this game up for a Chinese Taipei. Well, two out, fun hit. Heads up, base running, and just making contact against the dominant pitcher. Finds a hole. Didn't hit it very well, but got it in play. Gave him a chance, and that's Chinese Taipei to a T. Opportunistic and aggressive. Chui Lung Lan picks up the RBI, and it comes with two down, and that's how quickly it happens in Little League Baseball. 
And here's a very big at bat. Throw to third will not be in time. Jose Lopez, the catcher, making a dangerous throw right there. 1-1 one, one game, two in scoring position. And the best hitter for this Chinese Taipei team is at the plate. The first time he's been retired. 他就很有力量的,你打到球就好了,不是要大力打到球就好了,這樣懂不懂?一樣跟他拼死的啦,懂不懂?His last at bat was the first time he was retired here at the Little League World Series. Before that he was 6 for 6 with 8 RBIs, 2 walks. He was a strikeout victim his first time up. One of two kids hitting a thousand coming into the day. That is swung on and missed. The fastball delivered by Anduni. Two in scoring position, 1-1 one, one game, third inning, only a six inning ball game. Three hits on the board for Chinese Taipei, bounces. And again, a good play, Jose Lopez used the body, kept it in front of him and holds the runner. These catchers are so vital in every game, but in Little League Baseball in particular. Well, especially when you have the big arms on the mound, it gets so tough, 46 feet. That ball, the shortstop, play will be at first, and uh, the runner actually ran into him. Probably would have been an interference call there, even if the throw had gone awry. But a run picked up with a couple of hits, an error, two are left on, and our game's tied at 1-1.